In the last year, Todd Chrisley has been involved in multiple legal battles. He has ultimately caved on one of the litigation in which he was embroiled. According to reports, Chrisley has decided not to pursue an appeal in his defamation case. What follows is an explanation of the significance of the lawsuit that Chrisley withdrew. As part of the preliminary inquiry, Todd Chrisley used social media to criticize Amy Doherty Hines, an investigator for the Department of Revenue, claiming that the investigation was illegal and improperly motivated. Chrisley was sued by Doherty Hines for slander. This case was only the latest in a string of losses for Todd in his legal battles. A federal judge found Chrisley guilty of libel and slander in April. A total of approximately $755,000 in damages, including attorney's costs and punitive damages of $170,000, were awarded to Doherty Hines by the jury. This amount included $350,000 in compensatory damages. The ruling was challenged by Chrisley. His voluntary withdrawal of the appeal, however, was announced recently via WSB TV 2. It was pursuant to the joint stipulation of the parties to dismiss that the appeal was dropped. Todd and Julie Chrisley continue to challenge their conviction in the case involving bank fraud and tax evasion even though Todd has decided not to appeal the Doherty Hines decision. The Alabama trust that Todd and Julie Chrisley had $30,000 in it suddenly went down the drain. The defendants were found guilty and ordered by a federal judge to surrender the funds in order to contribute to the $17 million award. After the couple failed to reply to the judge's order, the judge directed the law firm to return the funds. The Chrisleys were convicted of tax evasion and bank fraud involving more than $30 million in loans. In addition to wire fraud and obstruction of justice, Julie was found guilty. Judy received a seven-year prison term, while Todd received a 12-year sentence. Julie will be discharged on August 20, 2028, and Todd on November 23, 2032. For Todd, it's two years early, and for Julie, it's 14 months early. An IRS official lied on the witness stand regarding the defendant's tax debt at the time of their trial, the Chrisleys said, but the federal judge would not even consider those claims in a hearing. Despite the couple's lawyer claiming they had no outstanding IRS debts during the trial, the revenue officer was instructed to lie under oath.